Groovy. Hey everybody, welcome back. Jim here, and recently I was lucky enough to meet a guy by the name of Saru Maru, who is the creator of Henshin Engine, which, if you don't know, is a new game that's in development for the PC Engine, and I've been excited for its release ever since first hearing about it on Happy Console Gamer, and while I was hanging out with Saru Maru, he was actually nice enough to hook me up with a copy of the demo for the PC Engine CD, and I was very happy and excited to receive this, so we're going to go ahead and play this demo right now. Uh, first things first, though, down in the description you can find links to Saramaro's YouTube channel, as well as the official Henshin Engine website, so do go and check those out if you want some more details about this game. And with that being said, let's go ahead and play this demo. Okay, here we go with the demo for Henshin Engine. I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, bits and pieces of the levels included in the demo. First of all, though, we are treated to a nice opening cutscene that gives us a bit of backstory and exposition and introduces the main character of Yuki and all the side characters and establishes the story that Yuki is working for a video game company called JEC. She is going to be a game tester there, but she's the kind that actually goes into the games and clears out all the bad stuff and at the same time a rival company has sent in their own operative by the name of Jenny to go in and wreak havoc in these in these games so it's Yuki versus Jenny essentially the PC engine versus the Genesis uh, who's gonna come out on top uh, that remains to be seen but let's go on with the rest of the demo The first thing you'll be doing is playing through a tutorial stage which is there to get you acclimated to the game's controls which are very simple and straightforward. This is a platformer so essentially walk to the right, jump on platforms and kill enemies with your sword slash and I'll say that as of right now yes it's an unfinished demo but the controls are pretty precise as is the platforming and the hit detection is good as well so it's already playing very well also in this stage you will get your first power up in the form of a large hue card you get these in each stage in this case it gives you a charge shot ability and also this stage establishes that this game has some very nice graphics some really great 2d sprite work and a really outstanding soundtrack the the song in this stage is really good The first full stage is called Oni Island, and right away you'll notice it bears a striking resemblance to Adventure Island, and that's a motif that runs throughout the game. Each stage is modeled after a classic PC Engine title, which I thought was really cool. Um, I really like that uh, it pays homage to those, those classic games. Um, but this stage, pretty much straightforward action platforming. Kill enemies, jump on platforms. There are flying enemies shaped like the Hudson Soft Honeybee, which um, drove me a little crazy here and there because they, they encircle you. They're some tough bastards. But overall, uh, a fun stage. You start with the exterior uh, adventure island setting, and then you go into some deep, dark caves. Um, again, excellent graphics on this stage, and the, the music is, is really good, both in the um, exterior island like tropical level very good song and then when you get into the caves you get a different song and that one's good too and then also you have your first boss battle which is your first confrontation with the game's villain Jenny
The second stage is called Satin 50%, which is an obvious nod to the Cotton series of shoot 'em ups and this stage is indeed a shooter stage, so Yuki is flying around on a magic broom and you shoot down enemies and you collect power-ups. You can fire both to the right and left of the screen as enemies come in from both directions. There's a boss battle at the end of the stage and again excellent graphics really excellent music on this stage um, I do know that they're gonna be releasing a soundtrack of this game uh, in addition to the game itself when it finally comes out I'd actually love to get my hands on that soundtrack because I'm not uh, it's nothing hyperbolic the music in this game is fantastic but anyway this is a fun little shooter stage I'm hoping more shooter stages will be included in the final product The third stage is called Castle Vampire Z. Yes, a stage with a Castlevania theme, which uh, really uh, made my day because I'm a huge Castlevania fan. So the enemies and the stage layout um, was was really great. Uh, you got flying Medusa heads and zombies and skeletons throwing their bones at you. Um, another really straightforward platforming stage, so kill enemies jump on platforms and that's about it. I will say that going up and down stairs is a little bit clunky at this point uh, but again this is a demo version so I'm assuming that's gonna be fixed for the the final version of the game um, but yeah I like this stage a lot a cool boss battle at the end and again um, graphics are great and the song in this stage is fantastic has a very um, you know, Castlevania, Dracula X feel to it, which I like a lot. So, yeah, the Castle Vampire stage, definitely a really cool stage. The fourth and final stage of the demo is called Badonk's Misadventure, which is obviously a parody of Bonk, but apparently there's a cave woman out there somewhere with a giant ass that she uses to defeat her enemies instead of crushing them with her huge head. So she does not show up in the demo though, so I'm hoping in the final version uh, we get to see her because that sounds uh, pretty hilarious. Uh, a woman with uh, an ass the size of Bonk's head. Um, would be pretty fun to see. Um, but other than that, it is a, a, another straightforward action platforming stage. Um, by this point, you've collected the double jump power-up, which you will definitely need. There are a lot of uh, long-distance jumps to make in this stage, a lot of pitfalls to fall through. But uh, overall, yeah, another stage with uh, some fun gameplay and really good graphics and an excellent song to go with the stage. Um, once you finish the first half of the stage, that's the end of the demo. And for a work in progress, I will say I did enjoy uh, playing uh, Henshin Engine. Um, there are some bugs to be worked out for sure, but overall this was uh, an excellent little platforming experience. I am definitely looking forward to the final product. Again, uh, the gameplay is pretty solid at this point. The graphics are really good, 
uh, the humor that is sprinkled in I like a lot the um, the fact that it pays homage to so many great PC Engine games or TurboGrafx-16 games is something that I really like and again the soundtrack is outstanding so yes I did indeed enjoy this demo of Henshin Engine So there you go, that's the demo of Henshin Engine on the PC Engine. I liked it a lot, and I am definitely looking forward to the final version. Again, if you're interested, I would recommend that you go check out Sauromaru's YouTube channel and also the Henshin Engine website for more information on things like release dates and special editions, etc., etc. And with that being said, thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. I will see you next time. Goodbye.